Hey guys, I've got a five-year-old panel. It's double bus bar. It's not super strong stuff. Um, 45 watt. I've shown one of them in a video before. I got 12 of these for 185 bucks. Not a bad deal. I mean, that's a smoking deal. These are UL Solar, so they use the Bosch solar cell. And they're supposed to be producing um, roughly 22 volts. But this one, as I'm going to show you, is not. And it's something going on with the diodes in here. I'm about positive, and we're going to go figure it out right quick. All right, so let's go do a volt test and see what we're working with. All right. Okay, so now I've got the solar panel sitting out here in the sun, and it has got 13.7 volts. And that is a terribly bad result. So I do believe we've got a problem. And a panel like this will be actually drawing down your other panels. You do want to watch for this. Okay, so now we're going to bring the panel back in the shop, and we're going to open up the box, and we're going to find out what's going on. solar panel that decided to give up the ghost and what it was was a 10 amp cheapy Chinese uh, diode and the problem with these is that they're very inefficient diodes and they work good but sometimes if my controller asks for way more than the panel can handle these little cheapies that they put in the panel from the factory they don't last very long so this one here is a little crispy and it, as big as it is, is going to be replaced with a shot key. So we're going to be putting a, a shot key diode in here, 10 amp. And these actually will run a lot cooler. It does not need a heat sink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be replacing it with the shot key diodes. And they will be going in. And I'm going to go ahead and remove both of these so that they don't need to be in there. And they're so worthless and just wiggle them out of the solder. Look at that. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm just going to solder them on just straight into the solder puddles here and here so that it, re it prevents reverse flow to the negative so that your panels don't get hot from your batteries or overheat. And, and that way you don't eat up your batteries with any kind of reverse current. So now these two diodes, they went in in that direction with the polarity, uh, the flow going that way only, resistant going backwards. Now these diodes here have a lettering on them. So when you see the lettering on them, the lettering will be going to the negative side. And it's a little off-centered. So let me see if I can look in here better. You'll see there's lettering in there get one out and let me get over here in the light and you'll see that there's lettering on it probably not the best focus in the world but the lettering is on the negative side which should go on your negative side of your of your wiring and these shot key diodes are going to be six percent more efficient than these old crappy diodes here so what we've got is we have the negative on this side the center lead, which will go to the positive, and then the negative from that one over to positive. So they just go in a flow like your batteries would go in your flashlight. And now we can go out and test it. I put a couple of connectors on it. And this way, this one here was bad. It was reading nothing on both sides, totally dead. And this one right here was reading extremely low rate of flow which means it wasn't resisting very much. And these now, let's get over here the diodes, should be reading upwards of about 500 on this meter. We're going to do a diode test here on the amount of resistance by just running the leads backwards. And look at that, 415, that's not bad. Earlier, it was literally, I think it was 39. So let's go out and test it right quick. And we'll put this on, earlier it was putting out 13 volts. So that ought to tell you something. Now we'll go outside and test it. Okay. There we go. Perfect setup for a panel there. 
and since these are the UL solars I want to set this above the 20 volt because they'll go way above the 20 volt okay now bringing it back outside you can see that we have replaced the diodes and now the voltage on this is 21 volts earlier we were getting 13.3 which is kind of a whack number because of the way that these cells are wired up and now we've got full performance and we have two Schottky diodes towards the sun there a little better angle of the sun and you'll see that the voltage is excessive 21 volts and of course the panel is very dirty so we can probably clean it this is not an amorphous panel folks so it doesn't produce as well as an amorphous panel and for all you amorphous haters out there you know what can i say so we're getting 21 volts get a little better of an angle there and that's a good improvement so if you want to replace your diodes and you want to get more efficiency out of your system you can get Schottky diodes 10 amp uh, up to just about any rating 5 amp on up you can get those and put them in your solar panels and get better results so not bad Man, get the wires back in there so not too bad pretty good results all right there you go Fix your own solar panels, not that hard to do.